Kadna Arinzi, who is also a liturgist. Then Kadna Arinzi said, when the children of God gather at Holy Mass, they have not come to a military grounds. They are in the house of their father. So they should be allowed to express themselves within the framework. And I said, yes, that's the beauty of the Catholic Church. You cannot have only one side. There cannot be Peter alone. They must always be poor. But interestingly, we have a Peter in Ghana who has the heart of Paul. <laughs> and he's an apostle. <laughs> I didn't mention any name. And a powerful musician. And a good writer. We thank God for his gift to the church. Amen. Those who were not tired after a nice session and managed to read my online reflection. I wrote just two paragraphs and it was on the cross. And the first statement, I think, I'm paraphrasing was, nobody likes the cross, not even Jesus. And that is biblical. He was at the garden of Gethsemane. He says, let this car go. He is crampy. So it is very normal if you are running away from the cross. But like Jesus, we should not run away from the cross to Satan. You must run away from the cross to the will of the, God, the Lord. Not my will, but your will be done. And as the second reading was being read, it dawned on me so strong. Linking it out to the first reading, Moses lifting up the serpent, and it was remember that during baptism, especially those of us who had infant baptism, the first ritual at infant baptism is the signing with the mark of faith. The sign of cross of the cross is drawn on your forehead by three people. The priest who is doing the baptism, your mother, your father, not even three, four. And the godparent, I mentioned three because most of the time, the men don't come for baptism. It's me, we are a man, we are a godparent. So the parents, the godparent and the priest, we mark you out with the sign of the cross. Symbolically, you have been lifted to save. Symbolically, people should look at you and get life. And any time I mention people should look at you and get life, I remember my favorite song on where became flesh. Look out to Jesus and live. So we are symbols of salvation. And if people must look at us and live, then turn your eyes to the Kali Grotto in Ghana. All the crucifixes, almost all of them, at all the Kali Grottoes in Ghana are uncovered. In Sonia, we have Buyesu. So to be a savior, you must endure. Yes, like what happened at Calvary. Later up from 9 a.m. to 3 o'clock. Naked. I don't know the weather yet, but possibly it wasn't so warm. Because if a depressed Peter in the night will go in search of fire to warm himself, you can imagine how cold it was and you strip somebody's son naked and hang him from 9 a.m. to 3 o'clock. And that is what our calling is all about. Lifting ourselves up on the cross, going through the most challenging moments of our lives so that others will be blessed. Yesterday, this is a minor cross, not a bigger one. Yesterday at Obuasia Capuriso, I drove there in the evening for a program extremely tired so tired that walking from my car to the church was even becoming a difficulty. At a point, I have to alert the nurses to get me some first aid, which actually renewed my energy, and that is why I was able to come here. Then, in my stress and tiredness, I beg a young lady to bring me a chair to sit outside the church for a little bit of fresh air as I prepare for the session. I am normally allergic to loud sound. It's not my fault. If you are from a village when there is no sound system in your house, that's how it is. Uh -huh. The only sound system in my house was my father's small tip. 
So my mind has not been tuned to sound from birth. Then we went to St. Dubert, using wireless is illegal. And St. Dubert Chapel those days had no sound system. It was manpower. There were not too many. Any priest who is on duty can easily speak to our hearing. And those who have gone to seminaries, you know how our sound is very low. And so it has become an unwanted habit that when the sound is too high, I begin to have some migraine at times. But thank God, by the grace of charismatic renewal, I'm enduring small small. <laughs> this lady brought the chair. She was the one coming to help me in my weakness to relax. The immediately she places the chair and I sat down, she was like, Father, the way she will be, wait a minute, my discussion. She wanted to discuss her problems with me. I said, okay, go ahead. She started. First one answered. Then, normally when the lady throws a general question, know that there's a vision she doesn't understand. <laughs> so she threw in a general question. So, Father, can you dream and see those who have died give you instructions as a When I answered, she started narrating all her dreams. Part of my body was like, can't she be compassionate? <laughs> and the other part was like, this is the only avenue she can get. You see what was going through my mind. It was the only avenue she could get. So I had to endure in order to give her the needed attention. Because you never know the next consultant if I say no. I may reject her request and she may end up at Nana Obu Enipa or Nana Kwakubu in some camp for direction. And because of that, I have to endure. Then right after that, I went for medication and continued the session. After the session, I virtually, literally begged that nobody should see me because I was going to Kumase. I took almost five to ten minutes to bless prayer items as part of the session. But immediately I left the church, a woman came to me with her water. Father, I'm pastor, I don't suck up with you. The ministry of a savior. Then it dawned on me that I should come and tell you, if you are not frustrated enough, you can be beneficial to society. I've been told to combine the homely with a simple top the calic in the charismatic. And it is my prayer that you will be spurred on through my discouraging ways to be on fire for the Lord. <laughs> you see, the calic church is a universal church, even by name. The word calic means universal. And if you understand a universal charger, you understand the calic church. Every battery can be accommodated. So the first frustration for every Catholic is the ability to accommodate things like the church. <laughs> you see the point. The church is universal. It accommodates everything, every spirituality, every practice, all in agreement with the Bible anyway. And many of these things the church accommodates are things we don't like personally. Those who know the temperaments in psychology. When I am, I'd like to even use the two broad ones, not the sanguine, choleric, melancholy to waste time. Extroverts and introverts. When I am an introvert, I will naturally not like the charismatic renewal. It is natural. It's by virtue of my nature. So, if I am an introvert and even a melancholy, and I'm ordained into the priesthood and posted to, I'm mentioning a few parishes and you understand what I want to, I mean, not in all places in Ghana, but if I'm posted to Enyinem, Kumase, Amekum, Tamale, Holy Cross, Akra, Nima, you see the selections I'm making. And my personality is not charismatic. I'm already appointed to a life of endurance. 
turn the table around. A very active, sanguine, an extrovert who wants fire is ordained and posted to Derby Avenue. Those who know, know. You see, immediately, you know, there is a beginning of frustration. Not even going to grow for you, yeah. My jam brass on Kakrana, my God, I said, my heart, this day. Montuny, my, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lead candy light, I need you every hour. And you look at the faces of the congregation, and they are really engrossed in the prayer. But Father is frustrated. Our father is expecting our God reigns, our God reigns, and they are singing, I need you every hour. So the first attitude I want to draw your attention to as a Kali charismatic is the attitude of learning to endure and embrace the universality of the church. When you are seriously looking at fire, power, grace, somebody is seriously looking at rosary, scapula, holy water, Father's anointing, the ashes of Ash Wednesday. Wa father na chiko pe bidie na efri turu bunum gu form no. Wa di ko fia ko bom paye. Christ the King. You are praising Jesus because you are charismatic. You are singing and dancing. She is also seriously looking for the flowers. And you must tolerate that. I have gone through that baptism myself. And those who know me understand. Now, you are correct. Yes, now you are too hard to go in the sun. On the corner. What do you mean by saying yes in the sun? The flower now, I go for the Moses. Then I will become so angry. At times, I even want to bring some people to surrender their palanquin so that nobody comes close. Then one day, Jesus told me, Joe, have I told you I am angry? It was a very sharp message. If Jesus is not angry about it, you cannot be angry. And that should be your hand, hallmark. So, a Catholic charismatic is a follower of Christ. Who is not limited by culture, age, civilization, philosophy, and personality. You are not limited by culture. You are not limited by age. You are not limited by civilization. You are not limited by philosophy. You are not limited by your personality. And I will just use the personality as an example. I cannot use the rest. You look up to Jesus in order to live. That person who is a Catholic charismatic is absolutely stick to the mystery of Christ and follow Jesus through the narrow path of life. He is stick to the mystery of Christ. I will explain the mystery of Christ. And he is ready to follow the narrow path. And that is what many of us don't like. Those who have done sociology, Maslow theory of needs, you know, Ghana said the much that they need. I had a woman say, "Yeah, we are them." In the Maslow hierarchy, the highest level, self-actualization, is also the narrowest point. The implication is that only few get the best in life, and those who get the best in life struggle through life. Don't be happy to minister among the masses. And don't think it is okay to find the masses attracted to your life. Because of that, if the church is proving stubborn in your life, you stop it. Push through to get to the level. When was the last time you prayed for a bishop? Who came to you one-on-one -on -one for prayers? And I didn't see that. So bishop Abba said, Minya charismatic ni. Now we say we are in Sao Usunti. Me banana don't sell to me so I bump fire man. Esida. It must get there. It was by God's grace you have living testimony of Mr. Osei Tutu, who does deliverance for priests. 
and it is recommended to him by bishops. And those bishops have in their diocese diocesan exorcists. But they jump the exorcists in the diocese and present their struggling priests, struggling rituals to Mr. Wasiyetu to for ministration. So, you have to go through the narrow path. Let the church squeeze you. If you are afraid to go through the fire, then you are fake. It means you are just a wood coated with metal. So, when you are taken through the fire, you will burn. And because you are afraid of burning, you give excuses and quit. Push through the narrow path. And that is a Kali charismatic. He will want to go through the rigorous, systematized, frustrating guidance of the church and still be on fire. Hallelujah. Have I started discouraging you? <laughs> so he works in a framework. And a framework is seeking and practicing any possible spirituality and reality based on sound Catholic teaching and rooted in obedience to the church authority. Let me repeat that. The Catholic charismatic seeks to practice any possible spirituality and spiritual reality based on sound Catholic doctrine and rooted in absolute obedience to church authority. Now, Ghana has not experienced deep spiritual experiences yet. When I was not too stubborn, I almost got a gift. But through my stubbornness, I lost it. Because I didn't have a proper guide. Now, thank God, I have a sharp spiritual director who can look at my face and say, Joe, who Jimmy? If I had had him at that time, I wouldn't have lost it. And it was the gift of by location. Have you heard it before? It happened almost three times. I had evidences on three occasions. Those who have not heard it before as Calix. It's when, at the same time, God will use you to minister in two different places. So we will be here at CCR, a fresh graduates and alumni conference, celebrating Holy Mass and leading the reflection now. And at this same time, somebody is sitting at my feet at maybe St. Thomas Cathedral, also for another program, also listening to God's word and going through ministration. And I'm not away. Unfortunately, may I also And I knew my mistakes. In this country, have you seen anybody actively ministering in the power of levitation? Divine levitation. Until now. Saint Padupio had it. He will begin mass. He gets consecration and he's lifted above the grounds. You won't see his legs on the grounds. He's hanging in the sky. And he will hang in the sky from the prayer of consecration to the dosology before God brings him back down to give communion to the people. And these are not the only. Ghana, I don't know the next stigmatist. We have not had it yet. So the realities you must experience in yet. So don't think you are powerful yet. But when you begin to grow in power, the church is scandalized. We are afraid. And you may think you are using juju. And that is why you will be strong on you. I remember Bishop Afuakwa telling some colleagues who were so much frustrated that a minister is asked to stop ministering and go for life in the spirit. They're like, Nana, now do me a rare pound. I say, yeah, Mona Mohu, I saw it in Yahoo. You have discovered it is rare. The church have not discovered it yet. So allow us to also discover it ourselves. I hope you remember the Padupi I'm talking about. This guy was so miraculous. He begins procession. 
And in the eyes, the processionally, the sick in the church are getting healed. No, my young friend, no, you people, you like, I will enter his gate. And when you are entering his gate, the sick are getting well on the road. The time he gets to the water, nobody is sick in the church. Then the church was afraid. So in 1921, all his priestly faculties were withdrawn. All of them. Every faculty was withdrawn. He begged and he was granted one faculty. You are permitted to celebrate mass provided it is private. You can't listen to confession. You can't do spiritual adoration. You can't anoint the sick. You can't baptize. You can't do anything because we feel your gift is demonic or it is fake. When it happened this way, naturally people will be angry. There were even protests, very serious ones. Then some people started writing to the bishops and to the Pope as if they can fight for Padupio. Then he got frustrated. Do you know why Padupio got frustrated? He was, he was reading some of the letters people were writing about him. And he looked at the tone and he knew this tone cannot come from God. He is banned. And anyway, on the day of his ban, he was interviewed by the tablet of Italy, uh, no, uh, uh, yeah, UK. And what he said is, God's will be done. The will of the superior is the will of God. On the day of his ban, you, in your locality, when father says, you are no more using the church for prayer sessions, would that be the end of your participation in the parish? Or your will be done. The will of the superior is the will of God. And that is a challenge I want to throw to you as a Catholic charismatic. That when the letters kept going to Rome and the uh, people were on the Pope and they were on the cardinals and they were on the church, Padupio wrote a letter to the Vatican. And I'm quoting the last paragraph of the letter. I must repeat that I am very disgusted by the unworthy behavior of certain false prophets who speak on my behalf. They should stop this false and unworthy propaganda. But meanwhile, they have followed in their morbid fanatism, not caring about the supreme authority of the church. I turn therefore as a son most humble and completely obedient to the Catholic Church, with profound humility, I kiss your sacred ring, Pope, and profess myself to your excellency, your most humble and obedient son. We are in length. Don't use the organs. But, Father, the rubric says you can play it under tone. I said, don't use it. Yes, Father. The Holy Spirit will not stop flowing. Hallelujah. Prayer of the faithful, no, it is becoming too dry. You don't even hear prayers. You only hear prayer announcements. <laughs> we pray for the sake that the Lord will hear them from their sake. For this, we pray to the Lord. This was prayer announcement. Was it not prayer announcement? No. The, 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 what I said now is even proper. We pray for the, his prayer. Let us pray for the sake that God will heal them. For this, we pray to the Lord. That was prayer announcement. And you want to put a little bit of something to the prayer announcement. Then you put something little into the prayer announcement and Father said, don't do it again. You don't need the intercessory prayers time to pray for those people. Do you? What happened to your news? What happened to your room? What happened to the Adoration Chapel? So, you should be like Padupio, ready to obey, ready to obey church instruction and church authorities, even when they are fooling. And Padupio had to endure this for 10 years. 
He is born from for being too spiritual. He is suffering for being very powerful. He is going through pain because he has allowed God to use him. And when he came back, come and see fire. The day he was permitted to come back to the public scene, the church having certified that it is true, it is genuine, it is rare, the letter of reinstatement stated, nobody can be used by the devil and still remain obedient. That's what the church stated. Now we are certain that your gifts are rare and genuine. For no one can be used by the devil and still remain obedient. Then he was allowed. Congregation tripled, quadrupled, multipled, popopled. You see, I have been tempted twice to stop the college church. But the temptation lasted five minutes. Because I look at other lives. I won't mention it. But I know our brother who left us. I saw it in prophecy. So I'm not just congesting. He was coming to feel one of the face of lay ministry in the church. Not Ghana, but worldwide. He was so elevated by grace that he was the reason why seminarians were going for alumni conference. Seminarians were going for uh, ITI conference. And I was one of them. I saw to them, they will ask questions. Has the program outline come? Yes. Is this person on the program? Yes. Then write my name. And that was a lay young man among us, our age group. I know my friends know him. Unfortunately, he couldn't endure frustration. Unfortunately, very unfortunate. He couldn't endure frustration. And when the church is frustrating you, he doesn't use minor steps. The frustration of the church come in capital letters. You will do something small in your corner. The time you realize there is a secular to all priests in the diocese. And at times you don't even see the secular. We are lucky that now with this internet and Facebook and those things, people are able to sneak some of the letters and post it online. In the olden days, you bet you could when you are Bishop will write a letter about Francis or say, don't allow him to minister in your church until further notice. And the secular is sent to all parishes. So you don't get invitations again. And you are like, Dear be this year. You are suspended in direct and you can't know. Simply because one old man says, You made a comment that is apostate or heresy, a heretical comment. And we don't want you to destroy the youth. So this brother left. And unfortunately, he is now operating under 1% of his normal capacity. What I saw in him and what he's doing now is less than 1%. The gifts confuse. The gifts makes the church a bit worried simply because magicians are doing the same. The test of charism is not the powerful nature of the gifts. The test of charism is your absolute obedience. That is why Paul intentionally separates the gift from the fruit. And he uses the singular. So all the nine listed in Galatians 5.22 must be exhibited in your life. And the nine includes long suffering and forbearance. Then joy. If you are joyful in your frustration, that is when you are on fire. And that is what the heart of the Kali charismatic is. He knows that I may be ahead of the system, but I will allow the system to catch up with me. Then we move together. Because I must minister to help the system. So I don't stop praying. I don't stop building myself. I don't stop being powerful. But I do that in the scheme of the church. 
I remember newly ordained sent to Agri Kinzima, celebrating Holy Mass. The choir sang a beautiful sound, to, so powerful. I, I've forgotten the song. Then, immediately they were done with their singing, all I saw myself was praying in tongues. Sunday Mass. And the constable branch was the vicar general. <laughs> we, the way he looked at my face, that was enough message from heaven. <laughs> so we finished Mass and was like, Joe, I do much at the end here, yeah, but I said, Tons, let's go the microphone. And I thank him. I thank him. And I've now learned even to pray the tongues in silence without opening my mouth. So let us allow them to shape us. It's not easy to do. His regard at all times is to do God's will in the framework of the church which has Jesus as a head. Now I talk about living in the mystery of Christ. He said, I said it's absolutely stick to the mystery of Christ. And the mystery of Christ is the mystery of the cross. And when you understand the Holy Mass, the Mass is not an encounter with Christ. No, we don't go to Mass to encounter Christ. Then Christ will be too powerless. We encounter him every day because he's with us always to the end of time. We go to Mass to join Jesus, to offer his sacrifice to redeem people. So we go for Mass as go redemptorists. We go to the mass as collaborators of Jesus in his saving ministry. We go to mass as the link of the head being used to transform society. And we immerse ourselves so powerfully in the mysteries. I will mention the mystery soon. We absorb ourselves so powerfully in the mystery that when we leave mass, the effect moves with us. And people are affected by it. Like the streams explained in Ezekiel 47 or Revelation. That flows from the right side of the temple. And wherever it goes, lives are transformed. And those situations are brought back to life. And that is the color charismatic. He knows how to absorb himself in the mystery of Christ as a participant of redemption. And that means he is ready to climb Calvary with the Lord and receive the nails, the spear, and the crown. Paul said, the famous charismatic Paul, and I think he's the model biblical charismatic, not be so, I have fought the good fight. I have run the race. I have kept the feet. So it is a warring, a running a keeping, an enduring ministry. And the frustrations that come with it are twofold. You have the church who does not understand you initially. And the devil who understands you but want to block you. Should I repeat that? <laughs> there is the church whose physical authority, the clergy, the hierarchy, does not initially understand your calling and ministry. And because of that, we frustrate you. And there is the devil who knows that you are the son of God who have come here to destroy us. It happened to Jesus. The Pharisees that Christ didn't want him to heal in the temple. The demon didn't want him to do so. So the devil will frustrate you, the church will frustrate you. And in the demonic frustrations, he can even go beyond you and frustrate the people you trust. So that you are the reason why a priest is also transferred. I hope you are getting the point. And this is what the devil did to the early church. You know, Jesus had the three powerful guys who always moved with him. Peter, James, John. You remember? Then the devil through Herod arrested James and cut off the head. Arrested Peter, intending to kill him after Passover. 
Look at the target. He didn't come to arrest Thomas or Bartholomew or Philip. Peter, James killed. Peter arrested. John on the wanted list. And you understand why John will live most of his life in Ephesus and not in Rome, in Jerusalem. So the church had to pray in order to bring Peter back. You, you may not be lucky to get people praying to bring you back, but you should be able to pray yourself and bring yourself back because you have God on your side. Now, the mystery of the church is proclaimed at every mass. And it is basically we proclaim your death. We profess your resurrection until you come again. Now, immediately you want to leave the ministry of the church. You have only the way of Jesus as your way. And that way is not popular. It's a narrow path. And it is full of rejection. And it is unwelcomed. And it is opposed. Unpopular. Full of rejection. Unwelcomed. Opposed. Who are you? Don't The same church that says, it tell Mr. S, go and proclaim the good news. It's also afraid that you are on radio. <laughs> it's You see how beautiful it is. So, we proclaim the death, we, we profess the resurrection until it comes. And we proclaim the death of Jesus in creed, in court, in court. The three C's. Those who have done philosophy of religion and all the religious courses know this. Because in every religion there are that C's, the three C's. Creed, court, court. Creed is what we believe. The faith convictions. Code is our behavior and attitude, the morality. And court is our liturgical rights and justice, the procedures. Now, if you have not had a rare encounter with Jesus, John 15 will tell you, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you are not rooted in him, you can't embrace the creed, the code, and the court of the church together with your gifts. If you are not rooted in Christ, you can't. Because once you are done with the ministration and in your head, Father will pick the microphone and thank me and praise me for your good work done. Please, some few announcements. You want to remind brothers that when you are ministering in church, you cannot be going around the altar like that without bowing down your heads. It is the presence of Jesus. You cannot just be walking around the altar as if you are in the streets. <laughs> be conscious that Jesus is in the blessed sacrament. Don't be shouting too much. But Jesus didn't tell us he has hearing impediment. So that is how it happens. So you have to be rooted in Christ. With Jesus, you can live that. Without him, you cannot do that. Now, John encountered Jesus through contemplation. Thomas encountered Jesus through deep search. Nicodemus encountered Jesus by learning. Mary encountered him by surrendering to God. When you encounter and build your power, you can easily practice the three C's within the church without warring. The creed, the code, the court. So we get to Lenten season and they say we should tone down instruments and you are still connected with Jesus, you can stand just with the microphone and even whisper the sick in the room. You are healed by the blood of the Lamb. Touch the affected area and feel the relief God brings. You will touch, you will feel, and people will start celebrating. So you are able to adjust to the various ritualities within the church. When you're rooted in Jesus, you do praises without instruments and people cannot stand on their grounds. They will be falling and roaming on the grounds because the fire of God is in you. I have gone through a lot of that. 
have experienced a lot of that. It was my pastor's experiences from the seminary. It was an experience of fire. May I stop on them. It's my prayer that if you see gifts, you should get spiritual directors for the gifted people immediately. Some of us, suddenly you and you And that's how I got the name of I can stand in the presence of a whole consultant, the Dasasan financial administrator, and tell him, Father, I do what they are doing. Because I was convinced that I have prayed and it is prophecy. I didn't know that if God tells you, the same God can tell them. So you should pray that they accept God's will and allow it to them. I was fighting headlong. Hey. I go to a priest who is currently 40 years a priest. His priestly ministry is older than my years on earth. I go to him on pastors. And at the table, I look at him and say, Father, Bible in the way in your crowd. I say, Joe, what's say? I say, Father, I'm still winning my Bible. I say, so. I pray. People fall, they are healed. I am summoned to a dean. He asked me a simple question. Let you see if I can transliterate from Chi to English. Joe, what do you do at the pastoral grounds? I said, I teach, then I lead prayers, then communion service twice a week. How do you do the prayers? Opening prayer, praise and worship, talk, intercession, collection, sharing of grace. How do you do the intercession? I raise prayer point, they pray. When I want them to stop, I let them to stop, I raise a second one, they pray. Do some of them fall? Yes, Father, they fall. Why do they fall? I look at this big man who can dismiss me and tell him, I don't push them. Go and ask them. <laughs> hey, I am a priest by grace. <laughs> to be frank, the, the priesthood for me is a gift. It was gifted to me. The old account I stopped using on Facebook. Joseph Nyakwa started sweet to Kojo Nyakwa. I was at times getting afraid of my shadows. I started reading some of the things I typed eight years ago. Then I'm like, ah, me na mechiro ye. I come to you direct. Correct you. I was given a brand new car. But I didn't have driving skills. And I was driving anyhow. And that is a life without spiritual direction. The gifts is a brand new car. Your journey, your movements, is the driving. If the church does not guide you, you will face three possible problems. Demonic attacks you cannot handle. Because when you isolate yourself from the framework, nobody prays for you. And the power of the Eucharist cannot cover you. Do you know that the church prays for all ministers in every mass? Or you are not conscious of it? During the Eucharistic prayer. And that prayer is for all obedient children of the church. So by sticking to obedience, all the masses celebrated on earth are sources of your prayers. So at every minute, a mass begins in the college church. Now that I am preaching around 7.15, procession is happening somewhere. It was somebody says o'clock now. Who is also starting morning mass? It's somebody's PM who is starting evening mass. And all these prayers, you are connected to it because of obedience. So that's the first thing. The risk of demonic attack. Two, the risk of negative publicity. You see, when the church rise and stamp, even the devil respects it. Or no one has an impossible muadir. 
Imagine that term, use on you. On one sorry, the impossible. So generally, God may be wanting to use you to assist other churches periodically, like Mr. J.J. Penin is doing in Tamal, eh, Borga. After Kalik Mass, the power and everything, he goes and helps the Presbyterian church and preach there with the permission of the bishop. He does it a lot. But if he was given that tag, even the Catholic church says he is stubborn. Which pastor will invite you? Those who invite you will be the Apatase Embefuom Parkeso Corner Corner Ministries. But the target should be I am obeying and building to a level where the big gurus will be inviting me. Me, one of my targets. No, it's on camera, so I won't mention it. But I'm very much convinced in my heart that one day I will preach a retreat for bishops in Africa. That is the kind of charismatic I want to be. Relevant and efficient. Not efficient at the backyard. And the third risk is the risk of personal frustration. When your gate is beyond your platform, it frustrates you. But it is only humility that can push you up. He says, I exhort those who humble themselves. Is it not what the Bible said? So let God do your PR work. Let God handle your PR. Don't do it yourself. An authentic charismatic allows God to handle her PR. Be on fire at the corner. When my light started shining, it was because of my bad behavior as a seminarian. I was ordained priest and given to one of the disciplined priests to shape me. Anyway, we were brave to me. The amount is actually imagining here. Formations. Then the spiritual direction I started taking so serious. And I was shaped away. Father, they were brave. Or no, we imagine them. Because now something not time to May you aggressive, may you do Said that may you know one pet, but at some point you want to say, I don't do any So he has to leave me. Now, that fear factor of he's too radical, he may not be able to push it away. So it was quite difficult for people to invite me. But thank God, it didn't last two months. And I had the first opportunity when the bishop was supposed to preach and he couldn't go. Fortunately for me, he preached my first mass as Father John Afuakwa. And my bishop is also a prophet. He knows spirit. He's very charismatic, those who know him. Our Episcopal chair. So he called and said, Joe, he didn't even ask, he directed, go to this parish and preach one week program for me. And that is when I've been advised, this is how you handle it when you are in church. This is how you do it when you are at the park. This is how you do it when you are doing and I went to do that. Fortunately for me, he was taking updates from the renewal group and their priests every day. So after session, you call, I call, say, me ba no ye ni ye, mo pe diya waya no. And that became my recommendation. Then, he said, Joe, I know how sharp you are. Let me help you. Don't accept any invitation without my approval. If you're not careful, you may think or come as an army boy. If it is within the diocese, go. Because the diocese is where I have ordained you to minister. If it is in the province, let them call the charismatic chaplain on phone. Let him inform me. Let me give you the go ahead before you go. If it is outside your province, let them officially write through their bishops. So now one of the tags I have, a negative tag is he's too diplomatic. But if I tell you the blessings of that diplomacy for the past 10 years, you will marvel. It has protected me from even physical poisoning. 
It has protected me from a negative writings from priests. Because the bishop knew he was coming there. The bishop is aware of what he's doing there. Who are you to say he should be suspended? You know, my brother Peter is aware that in Accra I have been banned from three parishes. But it's not written in any book. Or if I will get a ban, I tell them before I'm banned. When we felt, hey, I nearly mentioned the parish. On day three, I told him and another friend that I know Father will never let me come here again. I said, Ah, Father, Pa, Obi Awa Ye Jumasiya, Asori Maneni Aji, Obi Aba Asori. I said, I know what I'm talking about, and that was the end. You see, for the past four years, you've not seen me in a crowd. Anyway, I'm coming back in January to Prince of Peace. The letter is done. Bishop has approved. Date is set. And everything is properly done. I know I will be banned. Yes. Because you go to an environment. I want you to know the challenges within the we, we wrap it up. That's what I'm using myself. Because I am one of you and I'm going through that. I went to a place with Apostle Simon Ade. Then uh, Mr. Baxin at Obuasi, Eric Asari, uh, Kuma Evangelicals. And we were, the team was a team with two cars. Imagine. Come and minister for one hour. And you are coming for a team of eight people. So immediately we went there, we took over everything. And I love it that way at times. Because I want an anointed organist. Anointed drama. So that even the strings can heal. I don't have to stress to do the work myself. So we move with uh, Esso. Esso, today you are not singing, you are playing the keyboard. Then, Auntie Jane, you are the one leading the music. We do the thing. Immediately you begin to do that. The priest will be angry. The local group will be angry. And I'm a boy. And the local champion will be mad. But my bishop tells me, move with your team. Be like Paul. Half the Epaphras, the Timothys, the John Marks, and the ones around you. It is very costly to do that. It was my last visit at Bali with seven people. Mr. Mas my brother Maso was part of us, our, our boss. He was part of us. I didn't tell them. It cost my pocket 3500 for that administration at Bali. You know at the point I had to hire extra hotel rooms because they couldn't give us enough accommodation for my team. Then at the end they gave me a gift of 2500 After spending 3500 on the team. Then I had to make sure they also get their transfer back to their various environments. They have to ditch the 2005 small small. This person take 200, this person take 200, pa, 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 so everybody will be free. Now, this is the joy of it. We finished the administration in that parish within Kumasi. Then the Lord led us to raise funds for Father. In a night program, we started appeal and we generated more than 45,000. So when we were coming back, I told my brothers, I will not be invited here again. Then he said, why? I said, son, you will be shy. This person is known as powerful, great, and on fire. You come and within 10, 20 minutes, all his church members, their hearts are drawing to you. And you think he should invite you again. A good manager will not do that. A good coach will do it. Because a good coach is happy that his player won the national best, the world best. But a good manager doesn't want to be a shy. So when I enter a parish, I discover whether the priest is a coach or a manager. When I discover he's a manager, I know I'll not be invited again. When he's a coach, I know I'll get another chance. When you don't get this, you'll be frustrated. Some grounds are not permanently for you. God will take you there just to sow, vanish, and not be there again. Not every ground is a permanent ground. There are many spaces the Lord will take you there to encourage a lay person who is now coming up. So your ministration will be an inspiration to just one or two people in the community. You may be looking at the general effect that when I went, many were affected, many were eh, blah, 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 blah. But that was not why the Lord took you there. And after four or five years, this person will meet you and say, Father, you met me here. 
And I was encouraged. And that is why I am doing this. And you are shocked. And that place will be one of the places you have been banned. Indirect banning. You get the point. Even at times, the banning is very professional. The lay people will take your name in. Oh, Father, you person, woman, Mr. Peter, or who's one self a crab program we oh So father begins to give excuses to you for you. No, that guy is too tight. No, he's doing a lot for the church. But also you diplomatic. You get it. And the woman in ministry, yours is worse. When the church is 20% skeptical about the man. A woman with the same power and grace who experienced 500% of skepticism. And I think that is why you don't see many women ministers in the church. Well, dear Francis Beffermaginano, Sister Becca said, I'm ready for you intercession. So this is also a challenge to the powerful men around. I've seen my big brothers around. Yesterday I was watching some of the ministrations and you could see the power and the grace. Please, let us go back for our sisters who are getting lost. Sister Chichi, if you hear my name, forgive me. Uh -huh. But let's go back for them. We should not allow their gifts to die. We know what they were doing. The sister Millicent and co, the Chichis, the Berry, let us not limit her to the, uh, 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 the registration desk. Obwa wudi jane. I said, for the biya kti yano ba akunti wo jane wo di akoshe registration desk. I said, we are all serving. Obwa, bring them in. And don't allow. Hey, hey, wait there. Wudi na iti ya mpanyi mfuwa yuna wumumu direction ya krakasa. Let me give you, I'm a priest, I'm your father. Please, leaders, don't allow the women to limit themselves to singing. Hallelujah. I am challenging the national leaders. That next year, we should see women leading empowerment. Hallelujah. Sister, I say one year, so because we're in the world. No, I'm, 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 I think this is prophetic. The ladies are powerful but afraid. Because the church is frustrating. Not in a negative sense. We want to make sure it is rare. You know, me myself, cry right, for a woman prophet in my church. Over break a crown and my wife public ministry. I was a young man with emotions, need soon a fra prophet in Untina. I want to order food to another young commission. Open so too for our winner chance. But I was just here, me ba, 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 me but please, I don't want to believe that in our renewal ministry, it is only men that have been called. We met some of them, Nano Olympios in their youthful age. Then that other woman in Accra, it is a philo. In their youthful ages, our generation has it. They are in, in between us. We are lucky I have a session at 8.39 at Holy Cross. Kayabetima Bomo, may empowerment by force. Now, my children, P.P. near church or near Chemo, Tia Saw and Sanded one with Simo, your son Sanded one master, your son Sanded one with Jedu, as one from Koyajuma. Kebe Chemus is Yako Yajuma. Please don't be afraid to exhibit your gifts. And don't think ministering in gifts will not give you marriage. And Tina Munyano, they think if they become powerful in ministry, they won't get husbands. Maybe a key on. Maybe <laughs> Oh, the spirit of God is working in me. <laughs> please, please, please. If you are meant to marry, no matter how powerful you are, and this is how beautiful it is. Nyamihu wad machadiao. Obema obema wadisi kabes ponzao. When you see Mrs. Louisa Amwa. If it was not for Mr. Francis Amua, who could help her in ministry to this level? 
So don't be afraid. Eh? For the Roman sister, they are making one man a It can be. When you talk about religious life, they start running away. Yesterday, somebody nearly fought me at 11 o'clock. And I won't mention Barbara's sleep. She will fight me. But <laughs> when you are active, involved in ministry, the ministry will not cover your husband. It will rather sack the fake ones and push the fake ones away. Those who want to use and abuse you will be sacked from your life because they cannot stand your anointing. But I say what I say. Mary, be full of grace. God will talk to Joseph in his dream. Woman, I hope you heard that. Mary, be on fire. God will handle your Joseph. And when Joseph is about to lack money, wise men will bring you gold. Hallelujah. May God set our ladies on fire Amen. as we seek to remain calyx and charismatic. We should be very powerful. Me, my target is on pastors who people are adoring. When I begin to see myself, huh, I want you to become that ambitious. You see, my, 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 my motivation is Ephesians 3.20. I'm able to do far exceedingly than you can think about or imagine. You know that thing. Uh, that is my motivation. So when I begin to imagine things for myself, I don't imagine small, small things. I see myself preaching a stadium full, not organized by my money. And I know God will take us there. And you will be there. When we were on campus, this is the last statement. My classmates will always be going for excursions to the big cathedrals. It's part of the faith building journey. You visit basilicas and pray. You visit ancient churches and they pray. I didn't have money. So the announcement will be made. This weekend, you'll be going to Elmina. To visit the most ancient church, blah 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 blah. They will give them there will be station of the cross, blah 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 blah. Those who want to go are paying this amount. Write your name with this. I won't. The one day a classmate came and said, Joe, now you are quite be now. I said, rather say, Oh my mean for Miss Kanko. Me this off we are sorry, man. I bet you yes, can make one in your name. And to wait, I said. The Lord said I shouldn't use my money to visit these important places. When I'm ordained, the church will sponsor those visits. And I bet you, in less than two years of priestly ministry, I have visited all the basilicas and all the ancient churches and every cathedral my classmates visited, paying zero. Then the difference was that they went to sit in the congregations to enjoy the ministry of the powerful environment. I went in as the celebrant. You see the point? Just be on fire. And let's pray for each other. No jealousy. No envy. No backbiting. And no front biting. In our generation, people don't backbite, they front bite. They won't wait for you to do the thing to even gossip about it. And even ask more, more. They preempt what you can do. Then they will gossip about what you are here to do. When you mean by, but gossip very car, a corner, and you mean a very friend to gossip a power. And you know a studio, but from biting the cop. Oh, Munja Munja, so please cut your lunch, moon funeral, and you will cry him while contacting your colleague. But in all this, trust in God, and it shall be well with your soul. Amen. So as a good student of liturgy, I know you have three ways of professing the faith. I will use the third one. Let us rise and do the uh, responses to the faith. Do you believe in God, the Father, maker of heaven and earth? Yes. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Redeemer of humanity? Yes. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? So I know the church adapts a lot in our prayer moves.
I want us to do prayers individually, but I raise just two general intentions. For a minute, begin to pray for the church. Focus on your parish, your pastor, 